Hey guys, it's Dustbox back here. What is going on? Dustbox. What is going on? Happy Thursday, everybody. Guess what today is? That's right, it's cosmetic day. What does that mean? Um, well, I wanted to go around the base and just do a few cosmetic touch-ups on different parts of it, different things that we need to do. Um, I, I Last episode, we worked on the auto-crafting room, and I need a break from it. Uh, let me quickly just go over what I need for it. I need to find a way to uh, make pulses controllable. Like, I want to be able to send one pulse, or two pulses, or three pulses, and I need to make that adjustable. So if you guys know how to make something that does two pulses and three pulses, let me know. This thing right now only does one pulse, which is fine, because we only need one pulse from this. But we need to be able to have stuff that does other number of pulses. Also, I need to add one extra choice here and one extra choice here. We need to have stone, and we need to have a sword choice. So, excuse me. <coughs> wow! I should have muted my microphone for that. Anyway. So I thought we could go around the base and just do a few cosmetic touch-ups just for today. Just because I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing with this redstone. I thought I did, but I didn't. One thing that I need to show you guys is I put fence here. Definitely made it a lot more visually appealing. I put fences coming down here. Right here is not looking so great, so we need to do something with this. Let's see, we could put... Let's put some, uh, some wood here, maybe. Like that, fill her in, that ah uh, boy, that looks pretty good, except for I'd much prefer stone instead of wood. So we're going to replace this layer here and this one with stone instead of wood. I think that'll make it look a little bit better. Don't you agree? Good. You should agree, considering that's what you're paid to do. Now. I don't know if you guys have known this about me or something like this, but I'm a pretty crabby person in real life. Like, I get... I, I, in general, I, I've been very crabby lately. Um, I've... There's been a lot going on in my life that uh, really merits crabbiness, I guess you could say, but there's no reason ever to be crabby. But uh, there's been a lot of crap going on that just hasn't been good. And uh, so... Uh, you know, that's really affected my attitude in a lot of different ways. And, uh, you know, and I, well, it's been, it's been a couple months now that just this, this crabbiness has been almost unbearable, you know? Like, it's, it's honestly affecting the way that I live my life and the way that other people around me act and, you know, interact with me. And, you know, that's that's not a good thing. Um, you know, you, you don't want people go thinking that, you know, you're, you're the crabby guy. You're the one that nobody wants to hang out with because, you know, he's going to be in a bad mood. Uh, but as of late, like the last two days, it's changed. You know, I, I haven't been crabby the last couple of days. I've been, I've been in a really good mood, actually. Am I stuck? Oh, couldn't find my way out. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to tell you guys why. Um... And, you know, a lot of people are going to agree with me here, and a lot of people are going to be like, you're crazy, man. But, in all honesty, this is the 100% truth as to why it's changed. Um, and it's it's a weird situation. I, I guess it's weird. I, maybe it's not weird. Maybe it is. It, it all depends on who you are. But, basically, what's happened is um, I've pretended to start being happy and in a good mood. And, yeah, everyone's going to be like, yeah, right, that's going to change your attitude. No, and yes. Hmm, we need to do something in here still. No cosmetic changes needed. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. My dad always told me growing up that, uh, you live by the choices you make and life is full of them. Uh, but what he, what he meant by that was, you know, you're going to feel the way you are. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, you're, if you're a grump all the time, you're going to feel like a grump. If you're acting like a happy person, you're going to feel happy. And it may not start that way, you know? It may, it may take a little while. We need to, You know what? We're going to decorate this room or do something cool with this today. Um, anyway, that's I'm just changing the topic. But uh, 
for it's it's weird, but it's true. Um, the way that you act is one hundred percent going to affect the way that you feel, and this this definitely needs to do a new roof. But uh, I'm 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 what is it called? Uh, evidence to the to the to what I'm saying? Evidence to the contrary? No, evidence to the contrary means it's evidence to the opposite, right? Or is that evidence to what I'm saying? I have no clue. But, oh, shoot. Uh, I, you know, there's there's been, holy crap, I thought that was sand. The stuff that's been going on in my life is enough to make anybody just give up on everything, you know? And uh, I've actually started to do that. And then the, I've started really, really thinking about, hey, you know, I'm not happy anymore. I, I used to be a very, very happy person. Everything was always happy with me. And... I felt like I was unstoppable, you know, I felt like, no I felt high, and nobody could stop it, you know, nobody could touch my emotional high, but by the, I don't mean high like as in drug high, I mean like, you go through emotional highs, and you go through emotional lows, anyway, uh, I felt like nobody could touch me, and then one day, last year, everything changed, and everything started going downhill, and when I say, when I say everything, I mean every single little aspect of my life that could go wrong started to go wrong and the things that I was most secure in um, started to go wrong as well which was probably the hardest part about it because you know y you trust people right and then and then they they completely turn their back on you and act like they're the ones doing the right thing when you know you didn't do anything and then they're completely ignoring you now, like your best friends, or even people that are closer to you than that. Uh, but anyway, um, so I've been, like I said, I've been in a seriously moody attitude. And then yesterday and today, I, I, I said to myself, I woke up, I'm like, you know what, I am just totally sick of this. I, I feel terrible, I hate feeling like this. Well, that was a weird noise. I hate feeling like this something needs to ha- I need to make a change. So what I did is I woke up yesterday and today and I told myself, I'm like, all right, I'm going to start being happy. That doesn't mean I'm going to start feeling happy, but I'm going to start to the world. I'm going to be a happy person again. People like a happy person. People don't like to hang out with people that seem crabby and just grumpy all the time. So I told myself I'm going to start acting happy. That way, at least maybe people will start taking notice and I'll make back some friends or something along those lines. And, you know, maybe maybe that'll happen, maybe it won't. But in the long run, for example, today, I am happier than I've felt in a couple months. Yesterday, I was extremely happy, and I don't even know why. There's nothing good going on for me right now, nothing fantastic, but just that simple act of I don't want to. I, I do want to say pretending, but I don't at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, I am pretending that I'm happy right now. I'm I'm completely BSing everything. But I've started to feel the change in my life that I wanted to feel, which is 100% better than feeling like a total crab all the time. Like, you don't want to be a crab apple. Crab apples, nobody likes them. <laughs> I mean, yeah, people like them, but they don't really. They're just pretending because stuff. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's that's my life lesson for today, you guys. Um, you know, your attitude really does affect so much. If, if you have a bad attitude about everything, you're going to feel like crap. But if you if you start to, like, choose to feel... you, you Okay, let, let me rephrase that, because you can't really choose how you feel, but you can choose how you act about how you feel. You know what I mean? And then... That may or may not, depending on the circumstances, roll over and make you feel better than before. You know, like, I'm, I'm trying really hard right now to stop being such a crab. Jenna, Jenna's been great about this, but I have been such an idiotic crab to her lately that it's, it's not fair to her, and I feel terrible about it. But, and you know, just because I'm upset about something does seriously does not give me the right to act like a total douchebag, you know? Like, 
So I I decided, you know, I don't want to just pretend like I'm not a jerk to her or something like that. I want to, I really want to not be mean. You know, I, I've, I have honestly been kind of mean to her lately, and that is not good for our relationship, and that is not good for her self-esteem or mine, and this is looking interesting. I don't know if I like it too much, though. But, you know, just little changes like that have really affected us. Yesterday, you know, I was in a good mood all day, and, you know, she was in a little bit of a crabby mood. But because of my good mood, it kind of rolled over and affected her. You know, your mood can affect those around you as well as yourself. I wonder why I ever did this. This needs to be moved over. And, uh, placed over a block to the side. And it's been life-changing right now. Like, I'm doing my best to stay in a positive mood about all this junk that's hitting the fan right now. And uh, surprisingly enough to me, it's working. I'm, I'm actually feeling like I'm pretending to be. I'm feeling like a happy person again. I'm feeling like I did last year. What? What was that? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Blackjack's prank. I pranked Blackjack on a live stream earlier, so, uh, Blackjack, uh, come and clean this up, buddy. <laughs> well, uh, we blew something up. How did a creeper get in there? Ah, the doors, the doors. Gosh dang it, the doors. <sighs> so I've been thinking also about taking down the houses around my outside area and, uh, replacing them. Or not replacing them, just taking them down. And then uh, geoforming or whatever them. And then uh, putting something a little bit more decorative or a little more unique for my house. Oh my gosh, I wonder how much damage we got. I was not too terrible. I was expecting a lot worse. Man, I don't even remember how this looked. <laughs> Man, what a pit. That sucks. Let's see. Oh, no. Let's see, I'm choosing to be in a happy mood. And, uh, usually I'd been all, like, grumpy about this, and holy cow, it took everything out, didn't it? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not what you're supposed to do. Wow, now we gotta clean up this creeper. Stinking thing. But, uh, yeah, and, uh, I'm hoping from the bottom of my heart right now that, you know, changing my attitude like this is gonna start changing the way people interact with me and the way people think about me. And I know it will. It's it's going to. It, there's no way that it can't. Because if I'm a happy person, people love me. <laughs> I'm I'm a great person when I'm in a good mood. Like I don't want to sound like like a jerk or anything, but I I have a lot of fun when I'm in good mood. But as of late, I haven't been in a good mood, so I haven't been having very much fun. And I'm sick of not having fun. So I'm going to start having fun. That is what I have decided today. Uh, that was actually here, wasn't it? Yeah. We need to go build some doors. Put those back up. Those stinging zombies keep stealing them from me. And making me a very crabby dust box. <laughs> is that the way it was? No, I don't think so. I think it was actually one over. I have to go back and look at my videos. No, I think it was like this. Excuse me. Yeah, that seems right. What was going on here? Don't you hate it when this happens? Like, cause you can't remember what was, what you were building and now I'm all like confused and stuff. All right, I need some leaves and some torches. Let's just torch this up a tidbit. And let's make some doors as well. Cause I'm sick of that happening. I've got some leaves up here and I should have a crafting bench as well. Yeah, there's some leaves. And we need at least two doors. Let's make all four just in case, though. There we go. Let's put these guys back up. Double the thing. All right, hold on. Give me one minute. I'll be right back with you. I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, got walked in on. Anyway, so uh, what I did is I just fixed up what I had going up here, and I put obsidian here. I thought that looked a little bit cooler. I might do that with all of these. 
Right now they're just black wool, but I really like the way that the obsidian looks. Um, also, I moved this and split it so we can put the record player right there. And uh, I also want to do something like this. Let's let's make a where'd it go? Let's make a chest. Come here, and we'll put the chest down right here. Right here, I get. Maybe. Oh wait, 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 wait. All right, what was I doing? Let's put the record player right there. And then I want to put the chest. How did I want to do this? Shoot, I forgot. Um, so let's put a, one of these guys. And we'll put the chest on there. And then let's make some stairs. Like that. And let's fill this guy in like this. Nope. I want it to be, like, arcing. Sort of like that. Perfect. That's kind of neat. And let's put one of these guys right there. We can do the same here. Just like that. And like that. That looks pretty cool. And we've got a place for our records now. And I think... Oh, I don't have sound on. I haven't listened to this record in so long. I love it, it's so chill. I think this is really my favorite record. You guys hear that? It's so peaceful and so pretty. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I really like this one. It's, it's very nice and calm. And I think I want to get rid of this center post, actually. Um, probably turn this down a bit. Uh, let's see. And let's make us some steaks and make an axe. Oh, do I not have enough? That ain't good. Yeah, let's just put this down and chop it up with our iron pickaxe. Oh man, this this is such a chill groove, you know? Alright, give me one more minute. I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got the pillar taken down. And uh, I'm trying to decide how exactly I want to put it back up. I, I want to... I do want pillars in here. But I don't know if it necessarily needs any more. I feel like it, it looks a little cluttered. With all these torches and stuff everywhere, it's it's starting to get kind of claustrophobic for me. So, um, I think I'm actually gonna leave it like this, and uh, maybe maybe do something on this wall here, because this is kind of empty. But there's really not much that we can put in here. I mean, we've got our enchanting little music box thing. It's actually, I really like the way this turned out. Oh, you know what? You know what we could do? I could make some, uh, comparators. And we could set up so every time that that plays, that's, that, uh, we start the record, that it turns on a light or something. Let's see, how could we do that? Um, I've got a comparator downstairs somewhere. Those things are like a godsend. Thank you, Mojang. Um, they make redstone so fun. Yeah, it's it's in this chest, I think. No, it's in the other chest. Here it is. And I should have some... I don't have any redstone on me. Let's go grab some redstone and maybe... We need we need something to, uh, to light up, which would obviously be a redstone lamp. So let's grab a little bit of this. And I've got some glowstone... Where do I have my glowstone? No, let me find my stuff and I'll meet you right back again. Alright, we're back. And, uh, so I haven't actually tried this out yet to see actually how it works. Let's actually take you out for now and we'll put you back down in just a minute. 
But what should happen here is I'll put a little line here, and if we put the comparator at the butt of this thing, like that, and we run just a little bit of redstone, we should be able to see what exactly the frequency of this disc is. Or I think it's called frequency. Yeah, see, look at that. So when it plays, this one goes out, let's see, how, how far can it go? Four. Looks like, oh, nope, still goes. So this, it's a pretty big one. So this shouldn't be too big of an issue to be able to hook up correctly. At least I hope it won't be. So, actually, let's shut you up for now, because we don't need you. Um, it would be cool to be able to have, like, a, uh, a line here of, of, uh, redstone lamps with, uh, a picture of each disc, and which disc is playing would get lit up, but that's a little much for what I know how to do with the way that comparators work right now, so we're gonna have to work on that later, but for now, let's do this. We need to put a piece of dirt right there. And we need the comparator to go right behind it. Oh man, I can't jump up there? Why can't I jump up there? Come on, there we go. Comparator right there. Now that can power a block, which will power a piece of redstone, just one little piece of redstone. And that piece of redstone should be able to power this guy. So if we put that disc in, that should light up. Look at that. Perfect. Alright, let's fill that back in. Where'd all my leaves go? Alright. Just like that. Oh, that looks really cool. I like that. And then if we take the disc out, it stops playing. So we could do like a whole light show with a disc or something like that. I might want to put that up one more. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just move it up and then we'll be done for the day. Uh... If I put it right there, will it be powered? I hope it will. Uh, disc in the chest. Nope. Uh, that needs to be maybe a... No, that w would invert the signal than if it was a torch. We don't want that. We want maybe this. Get back in here like that. Let's see, uh, run it up to the block behind it, that's what we want. So we need to run it like this, oh I hope that this is a long enough signal. No it's not long enough, um, we need a repeater, probably, right? That's what we need. Uh, let's see. Two torches. Hope a repeater will work for this. Uh, I put the ch crafting benches up here. Like that. Anyway, guys, so this is about the end of the video. This is about all I have time for today. But I hope you guys enjoy this, or enjoyed this video. Um, be sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your friends, all you people. Do the cool stuff. Um, let's see. This needs to go right there. And does that work? Let's just make sure that this all works now. Oh, hey now. Oh, yep, it does. Sure does. Let's get out of the way. Put that right there. And then the repeater, and then fill this back in, make it look pretty. And that's looking good. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.